All right, folks, welcome back to the shop. As I am recording this, it is April 11th. There is now 67 days till the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, until Tech. The race is, of course, uh, the Sunday after that, but hey, you gotta go through Tech to run the race. We're getting close. Um, there's a few things I can show. Before I even show you the car, let, let's look in this box right here. This is, this is where we're at. And fittings, and line, making a whole lot of lines and fittings and all sorts of stuff. Viet has been pushing hard and, and he's gotten a little bit and crazy. Um, I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Before I even show you that, or one other thing, take a look at this. Tires, the tires have shown up. This is always uh, you know, a good sign that things are, that things are getting close when, when you have to get the tires in. Um, yeah, got some new Hoosier slicks. Uh, we're still running the, the 275s like we did last year, but they work really well. So we've got some, you know, some scuffs that we can use for, for practice, and then we've got a couple sets for basically the, the testing at High Plains, testing on the mountain before race week, testing race week, qualifying, and then race day. You know, the biggest, biggest thing is we're going to want to have a new set for qualifying, and usually we run that, that new set for the race day. So keep them you know, as fresh and as sticky as possible. So yeah, when the tires show up, you know that the race has got to be starting to get close. All right, so um, let's see, we've done a lot underneath the car. I will show you that now. Dry sump is largely plumbed now. So we've got our tank, I've shown you that. We did move it over here. The plumbing has, is, is quite interesting and I think it turned out really well. Viet has done an amazing job with this. So this is, this is the line that feeds um, oil to the tank. Comes up and around and over here. Um, we're close to the headers over here and then the return line here comes up and over, if you can see that. It's, I don't know, it's hard to get the camera in there. But it's close, so we're gonna have to do some heat control there. Uh, but then this line goes out to the oil cooler. So that's all plumbed. Um, oh, and, and, look what's back here. It's a small detail, but it's, a, it's actually kinda huge because, man, the car can actually stop now. So that's awesome, the guys uh, at Alcon we're able to get those rebuilt for us pretty quickly and back. So the car will now stop, which is great. This is, this is the, the phase where, you know, this is not going to look a whole lot different than it did last time, but a lot has happened. And if you have a keen eye for detail, then this is where you see a lot of stuff changing and moving around, like this, the, the expansion tank for the cooling system. We realized we had to move it from here, from this side over to here because of the because of the intake, and so we went with the Killer B small expansion tank. We've gone, it has gone AN fitting crazy, like I said. So we've got an AN fitting to the turbo. Um, heck, we've got an AN fitting for the, the, the vacuum lines to the boost control solenoid, the wastegate, um, AN fitting lines for everything. Coolant, oil feed for the turbo, everything is AN lines. Heck, let me, let me grab the flashlight here. If you can look down here even, we have got see if I can show you this. You know, it's even an AN line for the oil drain for the turbo down there. So um, it's a lot of work. Viet is putting in the hours, believe me. Um, yeah, Dylan's helping out, Jeremy. All the guys are, are putting in a lot of effort, but it's going to be worth it. You know, those AN lines, it's, it's just going to be more robust, more reliable seal. I feel like it's worth it to make sure we have, you know, a reliable race run. You come over here to the dry sump and you will notice all of the plumbing is here. So we've got our, basically our return from the oil pump here. Um, this is actually coming from the oil cooler, which you can't see, but all of that plumbing is done. And we've got our vent to the, to the, uh, the vent tank, or, um, that's still in the back of the car. And then our connection to the crankcase, that is still there as well. So it's getting there. Everything is starting to come together. Let's look inside the car. All right, I'm gonna try and show you this with, with a little handy light. Um, a lot has been going on inside the car. A lot new, so we've got the wiring, new brake lines to the proportioning valve. A lot of things are coming into place. Uh, we even have the, the pump in the, for the transmission cooler and that's starting to be plumbed. Um, the battery box is gonna be going right here soon. We've got the battery. We're going to try a new battery this year and a, a different anti-gravity, so that should be coming in shortly. Um, we have lots of stuff falling into place. Uh, now, 
you know, once Germany is back from Olympus Rally, hopefully Monday, Tuesday, we're getting close to having the wiring harness completely done in the engine. So once the wiring is done and the plumbing is done and we can put oil and coolant in the car, we're this close to actually starting this thing. Um, kind of the hope is maybe by the end of next week that we actually do the first test fire with the new engine and everything like that. Might be pushing it, but that's the hope because we've got to get it fired, know that it's at least running as best we can, and then we've got to get it to the dyno to tune it. So that's, that's coming next. Still a lot has to happen. We've got a decent amount of time, but we've got to keep, keep moving on the calendar, keep moving on the schedule. And, and things, are, things are looking okay. We're, we're feeling all right. We're making lots of big progress this week, again, with these little fine details. So wrap that stuff up. Hopefully next week, or maybe with the next installment, call it like the next seven to 10 days, you're gonna actually hear this thing run for the first time along with us. So that's exciting. So make sure you like, subscribe, uh, check out Flat Orange Tuning for all your parts needs. And, and thanks for following along. Thanks for your support. Thanks for getting excited about this build just like we are. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good year, and, and, and having you guys follow along with us, it, it's, it's great. We really like it. So thanks for your support as always, and until next time, stay tuned to Flatirons Tuning.